everybody. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be looking at periodic functions. If you want to follow along, the links to the companion worksheet are in the description below. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can be made aware of all the videos that we make here on this channel. So let's get started. Now what we're given is we're given a graph and we want to state the period length. Now if you notice that all of these functions, what does it do? It just repeats itself over and over and over again. Now the question is, how much is there before it repeats itself? How far do you have to draw? Well, let's say that I start here at this low peak and I go down to here. Now I can keep going up. Now some people think that if you start at the top and go down and you're back to the top, you've started over. Well, actually, no, because what we need to do is we need to get ourselves to another low, uh, to another high point, but not this high point, this one. So we have to keep going. So if I keep going all the way to there, and so now this is one full cycle of this graph. Now we can look at it another way by saying, well, what is, what if we start here at this point? So I have to go up and then back down. Now I haven't completed a full cycle yet because I need to go through a large peak and through a small peak, which means I have to go from here all the way down to there. And so the period length is how wide is that, that piece? And as it turns out, both these pieces are the same width, and that's always going to be the case. Whatever the cycle is, how, wherever you start from, it's always going to be that same width. Now here, in red, we started at 4, and we went to 6. So that's the period length. Period length is 2. Now in the second one, Totally different shape, but it's still the same idea. We go from hump to hump to hump, and so how far do we have to go? Well, if I start here, I can trace all the way up to here, and then at that point, it's repeating itself. So from here all the way to there. And so this right here is our period length. And it's often useful to start at the y-axis because here x is 0. So all you have to do is ask, what is this x value? And that will give us our period length. So if I trace down and look at my x-axis, I have the value of pi down here. So the period length is pi for this graph. Now in the next function, this one looks very different because it's not a wave. And most people tend to think that it's not periodic. But all periodic means is that it just repeats itself. That's it. Just repeats itself. So it goes from up here and then jumps down to down here. And then back up to up here and then down. So we got this piece and then we've got that piece and now we've made a full cycle. And so this is our period length. From up here, down to here, and then back up. But at this point, it's made a full cycle. Now what's different is that this one isn't labeled very well. And so all we know is from here to here, this length is pi. So. If we break this into thirds, then each of these pieces has a length of one-third. And so since our cycle only uses two of these, that means our period length is going to be two-thirds pi, or two pi over three. Now the final question doesn't involve a graph. Rather, it just involves a description. It just asks this one question. If it has a period length of 7 and passes through these three points, what's the value of 17? Now notice we're not given an equation, we're not given a graph. But what we are given is this piece of information right here. That's the key. And so if it has a period length of 7, what that means is if you take each x value and add 7, the y value is going to repeat. So that means we add 7 to this, we're going to get a y value of 1 again. 
we add 7 to this, we're going to get a value of 10 again. If we add a value of 7 to this, we get negative 2 again. Now, none of these x values are 17. So, we can just add 7 again. Add 7 to 4, we get 11. Add 7 to 9, and we get 16. We add 7 to 10, and we get 17. And so what we're asking for is what's the x value, what's the y value when x is 17? And there we go. There's our answer. f of 17, that equals negative 2. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up. For more videos like this, click that subscribe button. If you have suggestions or comments you want to see, uh, hit that comment section below. Uh, click the Patreon link to help keep this going. Thanks, everyone, so much for watching. And remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.